time is 7.16 p.m. Good evening. The news headline. Femi Adeshina and Gumi should meet me along Kaduno Abuja Road for peace meeting tomorrow. She will sign it. It was reported earlier today that the presidential aide Femi Adeshina verbally attacked a popular Islamic cleric Sheikh Ahmed Gumi, referring to him as bandit lover. This came days after Sheikh Gumi asked the federal government to grant amnesty to the bandits. Based on that note, the former senator that represented the good people of Cardinal Central Senatorial Zone, Senator Shewusani, decided to react. According to a tweet he made on his verified Twitter handle, Shewusani made it known that Femi Adeshina from Abuja and Sheikh Gumi from Kaduna should meet him at his poultry farm along Kaduna uh, Abuja Road for peace meeting tomorrow by 10 a.m. Speaking further, the former lawmaker stated it clearly that both of them should come alone, making it known that entourage is not needed. This is really funny one from Shea Usani, and this meeting is going to be a good and wonderful meeting, but we all hope that bandits are not aware of this particular meeting. Uh, you know, this is quite funny, and the analysis is uh, not far-fetched as usual. Uh, this is uh, Shew uh, Sani, who happens to be a senator, one-time senator that represented Kaduna Central Senatorial Zone. And, um, you know, quite some times ago, uh, Sheik uh, Gumi actually uh, uh, said, like, he... He actually had some meeting whereby he made some controversial statements. As we know, that Sheikh Ahmad Gumi is actually a controversial uh, person who has been meeting with bandits for quite a while now. And then, um, in the forest, in the attempt to negotiate to for uh, for a peace deal with the bandits, and um, uh, in a Facebook post titled uh, "Zamfara: The Flaring of Crisis uh, on Monday." The Islamic cleric actually, you know, is he asked Nigerian government to grant amnesty to bandits like they gave it to Niger Delta militants. Where Gumi said that um, uh, he, he went to negotiate for a peace deal with them, and that uh, according to him, the military action against the criminal headsmen and bandits will not solve the security challenge, but will only worsen it where he said that no military, especially of a poor economy, can win a guerrilla warfare, citing that the recent victory of the Taliban in Afghanistan uh, as an example. And uh, you know, the capture of Israel was saying that bandits are going nowhere till the uh, federal government gives them amnesty like a Niger uh, Delta militant. He wrote it that uh, Zamfara State is, a, is unique in many aspects, and that uh, the states ignited a wildfire of state constitutional amendments that accommodated the application of Sharia law beyond personal law. And what he was just trying to say in that place was that uh, the, the federal government uh, needs to understand that uh, the educational status and lack of an effective unified leadership uh, the Fulani headsmen and the bandits had faced on told hardship at the hands of authorities where, where they were extorted and stereotypes that all these things actually led them to doing all these things and with the acquisition of weapons they have they, they realized how easy it became to be masters of their abode uh, the forest where no authority can venture into any hour this has embodied them to further attack people for more ransoms to sustain their newfound reality and that what the federal government needs to do is to you know come to a dialogue uh, with them rather than you know, fighting uh, them or killing them, that they are going nowhere and this will only do more harm. And then as a result of this statement, uh, the special advisor to President Muhammadu Buhari on media and publicity, uh, Femi Adeshina, has actually reacted to it, says that bandits are going hellfire in response to uh, the statements credited to the controversial Islamic cleric Ahmad Gumi. Uh, who said bandits are going nowhere. And in this article on Thursday titled, I lack this pampering, don't you? Additional expressed his pleasure with the bombardment of bandits and clips in northern Nigeria by the Nigerian armed forces while pointing out that the criminals were afforded the chance to repent. And before they got to this sorry pass, they had the chance to turn a new leaf. 
Zafara, Katsuna and many other states offered dialogue. The government tried to negotiate with them, but they were contumacious, like dogs fated uh, for destruction. They refused to hear the hunter's uh, whistle. They filled the land with sorrow, tears, blood, the regular trademark, as Felak Anikulaku Kutsi would say. Now the shoe is on the foot, addition of pine, and in the different uh, evil forests, when the Nigerian Air Force strikes from the sky, the remnants of the evildoers not killed immediately attempt to flee. The ground troops then pick them off like flies. I say it again, one who has never been producer of our troops, they are cleaning up the country. Shocking and disconcerting, however, that in the middle of all this, you still hear words uh, meant to discourage our gallant soldiers, a bandit lover is on record as saying military offensive would not work and that the bandits are going nowhere true false they are going somewhere and that is hell and this was the response of femi adesina to shake gumi after his utterances about uh you know about the bandits going uh nowhere the femi adesina has come so hard on Sheikh Gumi calling him a bandit uh, lover and you know saying that the bandits are actually going to hell because the federal government amidst other amidst other uh, state governors like Zamfara State, Katsina State had actually gi uh, given these bandits uh, you know uh, opportunities like um, uh, Femi Adesina used in his own words chance to turn a new leaf but the uh, they, they were contumacious in his words, like he used an analogy saying that the same way dogs fated for distraction where they refused to hear the hunter's whistle, that is how these uh, bandits had refused uh, to negotiate with the federal government and the governor and even turn a new leaf by surrendering like others doing. And then, um, you know, Shehu Sonny has took a uh, carpet uh, on that, uh, took, you know, <laughs> advantage of this, like you can relate, the, and saying that the... Uh, Sheikh Gumi and, and Femi Adeshina, who is the special advisor to President Muhammadu Buhari on media and publicity, that they should, uh, you know, meet him at his poultry along Kaduno Abuja Road for a peace meeting tomorrow by 10 a.m. And as we all know, that uh, Sheikh Wusoni is a former lawmaker, you know, representing the uh, Kaduno Central Senatorial Zone and saying that they should meet him at Kaduno Abuja Road uh, and they should not come with entourage seems funny because we know the banditry uh, level in that side is actually on the high side and um, you know quite it's quite uh, quite hilarious for Shio Sonny to have called them to come around to settle uh, you know this uh, uh, we, do, we can't call it quarrel actually but you know this throwback at their self uh, in the event and it would be nice to see the both of them eat to share with Sonny's voice the time is on 24 p.m good evening thanks for listening